What's going on champs and champions? It's Fire Monkey here and the day you've been waiting for has officially been announced and actually released in the game because it's none other than the start of not Weapon X, not Magneto's Gauntlets, not Nitro Flare Machinist, even though now you technically can get it, but instead the All Sweat Summer questline. That is right, the summer event is now officially live. However, I'm going to be honest here, a lot of people on social media are a little bit disappointed by this event, which is why in today's video I'll be telling you everything that you can currently do right now and and what has actually changed in terms of actual gameplay itself. So firstly, the news feed is now updated to say the also at summer quests are here where you can push through the heat with the new summer set quest that earn you a water levels wrap, a summer cell shark glider, and the deck ducky back bling, and you have until the end of the season to actually earn these rewards, right? So you get a free wrap, a free glider, and a free back bling with three different variants on it, one of those being a watermelon themed ducky, and all you have to do is some quests. So if we go over to the quest menu, you can see it right here, for doing 10, you actually unlock the wrap, for doing 15 you unlock the glider and then for doing 20 you unlock the duck however this is it Th th this is your quest, right? So for right now, for the first day, you have two main Battle Royale quests, which is to reach top 50 players in Zero Build three times, to reach top 50 players in Battle Royale three times, and each of those will give you 25,000 XP, but we'll be having a slow drip of new quests every single day for around two weeks. So for around like 12 to 14 days, they will be slowly dropping new sweat drop quests into the game for us to actually do. All of them will give 25,000 XP, XP for each of them you complete, but it is something to kind of keep in mind, right? You won't be able just to speed run these all on day one, get the quest on out of the way right away, and enjoy your day that way. No, you have to just wait for them to drop stuff, but we also have the tall glass of quest, uh, sweat quest line, which is eliminate players. Now, this one goes up in increments of 25, so it'll be like stage one, eliminate players 0 of 25, 0 of 50, 0 of 75, 0 of 100, 0 of 125, and I think it goes all the way up to either 150 or 175 for how many people you have to actually eliminate and every single quest stage you actually end up doing is going to give you 25,000 XP. But of course I know what you might be thinking. Okay, sure, you know, the quests are going to be slowly dropping, we've seen them do this before for previous summer events, is anything else going on? Well, yes, there are actually some things going on here. Firstly, you have the Underwriter NPC right here, which has been enabled and is automatically in your collection book, with the description of, sorry, faulty glider deployment isn't covered by your policy. This wasteland is getting pretty heated, and if there's one man to profit off of all this chaos, it's the Underwriter. No sweat insurance is happy to provide the policy that works for you, and you'd better stay paid up. After all, you wouldn't want to end up like the train, right? So they have a little bit of some references to things going on on the island like the wrecked train and all that stuff and you can see the services that he actually gives you is a patch up service that heals you for 100 bars a storm circle hint service for 200 bars and then a combat shotgun for 300 bars he was also set to have a service that actually makes it so he can modify any weapon you give him for a certain amount of bars so it would just add random weapon mods to it but it doesn't appear like at least in the character description here that it's enabled in game so we're going to go hop into a bot lobby here we're going to go over to the underwriter npc see if he has any special dialogue and then we'll talk about the final change that actually has come from the no sweat summer i guess all sweat summer event that is going on right now which i want to mention by the way they didn't even do a blog post or anything right i woke up i didn't even know there was a summer event going on because in the files right if, if i go over here on my other monitor right the only thing they had enabled was the event flag for the quest line which of course ends when the season ends but also they enabled the underwriter npc nothing else api wise that we are tracking had actually had anything going on with it which made me just sit here and be like huh there's an event going on like I, I i went to my own twitter account and tate the person who helps me run my tweets sometimes you know he helps out on the account here and there uh he tweeted about it going live while i was asleep so i just kind of woke up and i was like oh i guess there is a summer event right because usually for summer events we're used to them unvaulting items or doing crazy stuff here and there but this time around none of that really even happened instead it was just kind of like hey yeah, yeah there's quest play the game reach top 50 bada bing bada boop right that was basically all they ended up doing so let's go ahead drop down here and look at the npc also maybe i'm tripping but is my glider like way closer to my screen than usual i don't know why i just feel like it, it shouldn't be this close when i'm looking straight downwards here he is though the underwriter npc with the service for a combat shotgun i will gladly buy we have reveal future storm circles and then we of course we have the healing service so what npc dialogue do you have our policies do not cover damage incurred at the nitro dome uh, okay, if we click over here, a policy of your benefit over here, complimentary of no sweat insurance. I mean, 200 bars doesn't seem complimentary. It'd be a shame if something happened to you out here. Okay, what else we got? Let's see your pol. Let's, uh, let's hope your policy is current, friend. I'd hate to see your plans get derailed like other clients. So, 
it, it almost makes me wonder if in the lore based what is my I can't aim in I'm sorry wait what is going on with my camera angle hold on wait Okay, there we go. I, uh, switching around and sprinting fixed it, but I have no clue what just happened there. My game's apparently tripping. But apparently, uh, this Mr. Guy here, you know, the underwriter, had something to do with derailing the train based on his actual dialogue in game, which I think is a little interesting. But yeah, after you've talked to him and everything else, the only real quest you have left to do is play the game, eliminate people. That's it right now for the summer event, right? Just play the game, eliminate people, hope for the more quests to release later down the line, and get scared when some of the upcoming All Sweat Summer quests require you to either play Reload or Ranked Mode and collect bars. So, you know, it's definitely going to be an interesting time once that mode actually ends up releasing, right? You know, once we get the new quest out and everything else. But at least for right now, you can just watch me fumble actually drinking shield pots and everything and kind of yapping about all this stuff going on. So, I want to know in the comments down below, what do you think about all this? However, there is one more change I told you guys I would tell you about that we haven't talked about right now. If you're someone who plays Ranked Modes, like Ranked Battle Royale or Ranked Zero Build, we actually have a change. They're starting to treat it a little bit more like they did arena mode. And by that, what I mean is they made a tweet earlier today saying during All Sweat Summer, Ranked Battle Royale and Zero Build will be switching things up a bit. From July 4th to July 18th, vehicles are uh, disabled and so are vehicle items, including boss cars. So if you're playing Ranked mode, you don't have vehicles at all. You don't even have the vehicle upgrade boxes on the ground. Nitro Fists are disabled in Ranked mode, and they made it so characters are no longer hireable, but hostile characters and bosses in their medallions are still present so if you end up shooting a character that is once upon a time hireable they will still attack you even if you just like shoot a normal npc on the island they'll still attack you the medallion bosses are still going to attack you and all that stuff but you can no longer actually go about hiring them and this is very interesting to see them suddenly start trying out these changes here and there because if you guys remember a big complaint that i've seen people talk about when we moved from arena mode over to ranked mode was in arena mode they used to have everything split up so basically if you wanted to use a certain weapon it would be enabled in the core playlist like Battle Royale Zero Build and all that stuff But if you wanted to use it in ranked it was actually disabled because they wanted to you know Not introduce too many chaotic items into that mode to give it a more fair advantage And they kind of kept doing that with the paid tournaments and the tournaments you can do in game But nowadays with the rank system It was always linked to the core Battle Royale mode and it wasn't something that you really had an effect of actually Dealing with right so if there's a bug with a weapon or something sure they'll disable it in tournaments But if you're someone who doesn't play tournaments and you just play normal ranked it would still be there because of it being linked to the core loot pool that you have in normal battle royale as a whole So it is interesting to see them decide for the all sweat summer event to actually start testing out these type of changes And it's kind of fitting during all sweat summer, right? But of course, if this goes well, maybe we'll start seeing the old arena system kind of put into place here where they mix up the loot pool a little bit more, making it so people that play in ranked mode actually have the old arena type system with their own set of loot pools and everything and their own rule set. Or maybe it doesn't go too well and they end up just going back on it, reverting and being like, you know what, core battle royale and ranked battle royale, you guys are still the same in your loot pool regardless of anything going on with tournaments. But of course, this is basically it for the summer event. You know, nothing too crazy really happening. Don't expect any unvaults. I've looked through all the quests and everything and all it appears like they're doing with the quest line is making a lot of awkward mentions about being very sweaty because they're like if we go over here right and we click on these for reaching top 50 players in zero mode it says it's getting a little warm huh reaching top 50 players in battle royale three times it says might be working up a sweat for eliminating players it says is it hot in here and you're going to notice as the quests go on and as we get more involved and put into the game the quests are going to get sweatier and sweatier in their dialogue and it's kind of awkward maybe Maybe I just think it's weird reading that and having to make a tweet about, hey guys, look at the sweat dialogue in a video game, but it is something they're doing, so just kind of keep that in mind. But with that said, hope you champs and champions enjoyed your news recap on everything going on in Battle Royale, Zero Build, Ranked, all that type of stuff for the summer event, and until next time, I'll catch you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.